GreenManGaming.com has the greatest video game deals on the planet. At least ones that you can obtain legally. Fuck G2A. Seriously. Head down below. Audience, we're back to destroy all humans. Where we left off, we were wrapping up all of our side missions. Uh, so that we could go to the final area, the moon! Uh, so right now we're in Takashima. We killed a lot of KGB guys. We murdered Shamalama in cold blood 18 times. <laughs> so yeah, good stuff right there. Had to kill him 18 times. And uh, yeah, now we're running from ninjas. Running from ninjas in 1969. Don't ask me why there are ninjas in 1969. Uh, yeah, we would have started closer to this next mission, but... I'm recording this on a Sunday, because if I record it today, I won't have to do it tomorrow, and I can focus more on Hunter reviews. Maybe even finish it. Who knows? All right. He wants to talk to a KGB agent. Okay. This is kind of weird. Uh, let me just. <laughs> Got him. Jesus, stop running around. Ugh. Hey, KGB dudes, I need to borrow one of you. Please to be putting hands in air. Please do not make There's the button. And the. Come on! Fucking finally. God damn it. Okay. Okay, bye! Why is there a ninja right there on the mountain? You catch a fish, Raytree? What did he say? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, what's up? Three giant monster eggs. Magra's monstrous eggs wash up on Takashima beaches. Okay. Monster's now twice big as last year. Ah, oh, shit. Have you heard news? Giant Mokra eggs. Sound like a parody on Mothra? Yo, Yuki. What's up with the giant eggs? With turtles that big, the price of bisque is gonna crash. <laughs> they wash up on beach every few years, but they spell big trouble for Takoshima. What kind of big trouble? Kind I do not like to discuss. Very bad luck. Please, I need KGB help. Okay. Sure thing, Tuts. How can I, uh, 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 KGB help you out? Giant eggs must be destroyed, but Militant Defense Force is protecting them. Also, Mogra can feel babies in danger, so one cannot just blow them up. This is conundrum. It is, that word yeah, no sure kidding. sounds pretty. What's it mean again? Big trouble! Alright, keep going. We, uh, that is the KGB, still have an interest in Takashima. Uh, what do you need us to do, sweet cheeks? Eto. Well, we can safely destroy eggs if in shielded area. Like... Mm, volcano base. And that'll stop How do you know about that? Mother and okay, boil baby monsters coming right up. Okay. Okay, parboiled or char grilled, those eggs gotta get to the volcano somehow. And, uh, how? Your country has advanced technology, like flying saucer. 
What? You can use anti-gravitation beam to carry eggs to volcano <sighs> and drop them in. But gently, or Mogra will know. No scrambled eggs, gotcha. And, uh, how do you like yours? What? Yeah, I what? <laughs> later, babe. Oh, god damn it. Eggs. Okay, the ravages of Mogra. Mogra. Okay, hopefully this guy doesn't... No! God, go away! Ugh. Damn it. Okay. Cloak. No. Cloak, cloak back on! Cloak back on. Don't turn off the damn cloak. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so we got a Magra's Rage Meter. I guess if that gets full, Magra shows up and levels the damn city. Alright, cloak. Got it. So what happens if I just, like, you know, drop this thing in the water? You know, like how we accidentally... Sorry, it's just the audio is really rumbling. Like, if we drop this thing in the water, is Magra gonna care? You know, kind of like when we dropped those crates of bazookas, but nobody cared. Is that gonna fit? Hang on. Make sure I got this right. Yeah, it went right in. No problem. Whoa! Whoa! We have a report of flying soccer. No, you don't. It's not there. <laughs> Dude, I'll level this fucking town if I have to. Oh my god. Can you imagine tank shells hitting the damn eggs? <laughs> the damn cloak so that doesn't run out as quickly. Yeah, I just let that hit me. I don't want it to hit this thing. I don't know how much the sea monster is going to become enraged if the egg gets hit by a missile. Or maybe if I fly high enough, these missiles won't care about me. Fire, damn it! Holy crap, I got them out of range. Yeah, once I. Ugh. You have the to say if those giant eggs hatch. It's bad news for all Takushimis. How did she contact me? Where is she right now? Ugh. <sighs> I can't upgrade while I'm flying. Well, hang on, I'll be on the ground pretty soon. Maybe. I don't know if I... I haven't decided whether I want to land yet. What do I still need? I still need a bunch of KGBs from Russia. So, note to self, go to Russia before we uh, head to the moon. No! Oh, okay. Stupid missile tanks. Fu 
really? I'm dropping you in the river and your priority is not to get out of the tank? You guys, grab you, death to you, death to you, death to you, and death to you. All right now, give me this thing. In fact, turn the damn cloak on so I'm not bothered. We gotta get up. We gotta get some upgrades for the cloak because we use it a lot, and every time we're in the saucer, we're just passively gaining wanted level up to level four after that we have to actually do stuff to hit level five but it goes up to four <sighs> did a ninja just did a ninja just teleport into the air to try and fight my saucer? Was that what that black cloud back there was? Oh, shit, shit, hang on. All right, just throw that right on in there. All right, that's all three. Takashiba saved! Aircraft disposes of giant monster eggs. Defense Force Commander, please, it all turned out well in the end. No monster sightings today. It is a good day for Japan for once. <laughs> that is what Takashima is, right? A small island off the coast of Japan. Okay. We gotta go back to Bay City. We gotta fi finish the mission where we kill Sergeant Foxhole. Yes, that's his name, if you didn't watch the last episode. And then we gotta, um... Gotta, 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 gotta get the, um... Uh, crates of bazookas. Let's see about upgrading that cloak first. Are you kidding me? We can't upgrade that stupid thing? <sighs> well, we're gonna get some ammunition, some uh, upgrades regardless. We're gonna get the ion detonator good against the Blisk. Do I even want a dislocator upgrade? Let's focus on our arsenal-based weapons first, and then we'll focus on... Ooh, that's an expensive one. Ooh, that's an expensive one. All right, fully upgraded meteor gun. Now we can carry a total of five meteors. Let's see if we could get anything else. That's a cheap upgrade for anti-blisk. Yeah, go for it, because then I could get this. And then with the money that we get on the moon... Oops. <laughs> with the money that we get on the moon, we'll, um... We'll upgrade everything else that we want to upgrade. Believe me, there isn't much left. Not a lot of things left that I want to upgrade. You'll notice I haven't been doing much with the saucer. Which is why I wanted to look into a better cloaking system. Because this thing's cloak is... Already dead. It's already dead. That's what this thing's cloaking system is. All right, find me a hippie. What's the back? Base. It's LBJ. I can't. 
keep hitting the wrong button. Alright. Got him. I'm a dancing machine. Yeah, I bet you are, random hippie guy number 847. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, KGB guy. How's it going? Can I help you, comrade? Yeah, let's so do this. Once you <laughs> All right. Get Sergeant... Kill Sergeant Foxhill. Did I say Foxhill? Kill Sergeant Foxhill. Don't hit the crates, and then get the crates to the thing without arousing a tremendous amount of suspicion, hopefully unlike what we did last time. Yeah. Yeah, we can hopefully do that. Hey, it's Pier 1. You mean the furniture store? <laughs> hey, guys. All right. This side, specifically, this side is restricted. Specifically this side. <laughs> Transmog this APC, which is parked here for some reason. I don't know how they got it here at that angle. No, I need to... Fuck's sake. There it is. Finally! God! And the overpowered turret. Oh god, another one. Got it, thank god. Okay. Sergeant Foxhole, where the hell are you? Stop that! God, I hate those things. You know they kill the jetpack too? You fucker. You mother. I can't jump over the bazooka crate. I can't jump over the bazooka crate to get the. Oh my god. That's the worst thing in the game. Probably easier just to. You know what? It's just easier to do this. Look, it's no longer in our way. Please stand near that. Yes. Exactly as I intended. First box. Let's see if we can ignore everybody. Just to make this a little bit easier. Nope, don't care. I don't care. Do not care. Well, the good news is this box doesn't look like it has a health bar. Nope. Look at how much I care. Zero. <laughs> and that's all the health we've lost. Whoops. Okay, just don't... Just put it down and don't break it. There. That's one fucking crate. Out of three. Oh, it's the funnest kind of gameplay, isn't it? Don't you love this, ladies and gentlemen? 
The most interesting kind of gameplay is the one where you take one object and take it to another place. Give me my drop. No. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna try the saucer again. And obviously we're gonna take a safer route. the battery for that. As we approach, we'll turn the cloak on. Pick up the crate, and away, and then turn the cloak back off. We're so smart. We are the smartest Let's Players in the world. Oh my god, what is the disgust? Disgusting range on those things. Oh, they're... Well, it doesn't help that they're right here. What did he say? I don't know. Hit the cloak again. The last thing I want is to die on the last box. And then have to do this a third time. <sighs> okay. Got them. Got them where they needed to be. 1300 hours, Fox Hall first reported and missing. 1425 hours, Bazooka shipment reported missing again. <laughs> again? <laughs> what are the. What are the Soviets doing with bazookas? That's for all the sh shit you caused me. Here, I'll do the other one, too. You can aim one right on top of them. It kills them. You, this one owes me health. Oh, the humanity! Do you have a different line for level five? I don't know. All right, let's uh, go to Tunguska. One last stop. On this ride of madness. <sighs> Tunguska. <laughs> That's its name now. Put that in the add it to the name. Except don't, because that's dumb and stupid. Get up! Damn it. Cop who is please. They got no idea of what's going on. There's an invisible thing. They can't see it. Well now they can, so now they know, but it's fun while it lasted. Get over here. Got him. All right. 
right, head over to the KGB base. Because we need KGBs. They don't seem to care that traffic is being held up. Oh look, they're all coming to me. I'm coming slower now. Alright, I'm just gonna throw a sonic boom at every single missile tank. I'm grabbing more KGB than I need because I might need more later. That one did not have a lot left in it. <laughs> okay, well, that's probably enough. Now let's go to Solaris, the moon level. It's also the last area. Finally, we made it. Oh yes, is Solaris. Million cogs not showing up on my scanners, but I am detecting Soviets aplenty and buttloads of blisk. What's worse, Vitalia's been uh, gathering intel from the cosmonauts, and you won't believe what she's found. Project Solaris is a blisk weapon built to bombard the Earth with bliskifying spores. Go see Natalia. She'll give you the gory details. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a king-size crab claw cracker! I... <laughs> Shit. Yep, now nope, you're achieving escape velocity. <laughs> I'll tell you a thing or two about that. You're on my turf now. You're on the moon. <laughs> you start talking uh, astro science. Believe me, you're going to be in for an earful. <laughs> A lot of dudes here. <laughs> Hang on. Sweet, nobody saw that. All right, I am green, dude. Open the door. Yeah. That's not practical, right there. There is no airlock. Which means that this entire place is probably exposed to vacuum. Which means there's no point in having this dome. This is the city dome. Oh, look, it's a little uh, moon rover. Moon rover. <laughs> Alright, now that I've uh, gained access into here... Hey, how do I get up there? I need access to the higher parts of the dome so I can get all the Furotech cells. Also, there's a landing site out there. We need to establish ourselves on the moon before we start doing story shit. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> You can't get up that high. You know, we've been playing Surviving Mars on this channel. I think you need a bit more than what you got here. Like, I see that over there you got an ag dome. 
I'm, I believe you're growing trees in there. I don't know. I'm gonna... I'm gonna criticize the crap out of your moon base. <laughs> Who's ready for, uh... Hunter's Adventures in Science? Alright. So... We've seen the city dome. And I guess you guys are the security force. Not much. I will assume these are shops. If they are not... Sh if they are not shops, I will be concerned. You got a statue of Lenin over here. I'm gonna transmog that immediately. All right, power dome. You have a dome dedicated to power instead of solar panels? You have a lot of light on the moon. You basically have one month of day. You can charge a lot of battery power in that time. That might actually be what you're doing, but this looks more like a nuclear reactor than anything else, honestly. So, I mean, if you're gonna use that to power the base while, uh, while it's dark out, maybe. I don't know. Wait, what did they call this? Hang on. Biodome. <sighs> okay. Yes, you are disgraced the Soviet system so far. All right, so this is your biodome. There is not enough food here. Not at all. You got, what, four plants in each of these little things here? You got trees, but that's about it. Do you have any other domes? Oh, wait, yeah. It keeps going. Give it a second. Uh, you have a huge dome here with nothing in it. Which is an enormous waste of resources and space. So far, this dome fails on a lot of different levels. Okay, well, that was fun, making fun of your, uh, little moon base. Was AstroTurf even invented by 1969? Alexa, when was AstroTurf invented? Okay, checks out. It's four years ago. Okay, do you want me to kill if these dudes? If I intended humans to dwell on this barren satellite, I would have given them rocks for lungs. Did I? Probably not. They just follow my will, which is always so unmistakably unambiguous. Therefore, smite them down. Smite it. Nothing pleases a god like a lovely blood sacrifice. My smiting, my son. Landing zone activated. How much of these domes can we destroy inside and out? Can we take out these tunnels? These connector tubes? Do they have any other domes? No, no other domes. Well, it's indestructible. Can't kill that. <sighs> and I tried, I threw three sonic blasts at that thing. That's enough to kill a lot of stuff in this game. These guys hurt. Also, I can see the Earth. What's to stop someone from looking through a telescope and seeing a base of this size? I 
think this whole place is a parody of, uh... I don't know, something. There's probably gonna be some 2001 Space Odyssey references out here. Maybe we'll find the, uh, monolith from, uh, that movie. The, the movie that I just said. What are you, what are you doing? Stop running up to me. First murder on moon? Mm, no, I already committed that. <laughs> Already committed the first murder on the moon. Didn't take long. Hey guys! What brings you here? They're not very good, are they? Half the time they don't even fire. All right. What's the point of this weapon? It doesn't hurt them. All right. What else is out here? There's a Blisk base, the Com Zone, Radar Array, the Solar Array, and the Mining Site. So there is a Solar Array! Alright. Sorry, we're... We're gonna get the lay of the land and, uh, activate a few more landing sites. <laughs> yeah, it's like seaweed. What the hell is this shit doing on the moon? Hey, Arcvoodle guy, what's up? These sprouting pods are a blight in my creation. They are way gnarly in my eyes. Destroy them at once! Uh. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to transmog all of them into ammunition. I want those five meteors so that we can just go on a meteor spawning spree. Fantastic! Landing zone activated! Yeah, you are welcome. Good sir. This would be the calm zone. Most people just have a big old relay and leave it at that, but you have a zone dedicated to it. A lot of these structures are not connected to the main dome network. In fact... Alright, now you got your weird alien plant life growing on the bridge makes me believe that you do not maintain your infrastructure and I think you guys just got here too so that's not good either Are you still in the comm zone? Hey can I just break this? No, I guess not Whoa, 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 that's a turret, okay. We have a communications dome. I don't know about, okay. First of all, the relays don't need to be indoors. Why are they indoors? You can have them outside. In fact, they would work better outside.
Actually, I would love that. Please give. Where are you at? Oh, what? I can't get in there. Eh? Oh, there are quite a lot of you red suit guys. They look like the space suit. Once again, from 2001 Space Odyssey. <laughs> that was a good noise. Clang! Oh, look at that. That is a tunnel boring machine. Woo! Ooh, big tough infidels with mighty implements with which to work the very rock of this tiny world. I am so impressed. Not smash their monstrous contraptions. Yeah, you got it. Smashing. Dude, tunnel boring machines on the moon. It's a good idea. That'll teach them. Landing zone activated. Okay. Where are the rest of them? Well, one's on... One's near the mining site. One's on the, uh... One is below the comm zone. Honestly, we should have gone to that earlier. Just getting more ammo. No! <laughs> Dang! Boom! Glad you're having fun. <laughs> okay. Ah. <laughs> you hear that? That sounded like it hurt. Whoa! Oh, oh. What the hell was that? I think someone just shot a rocket at me. The, uh... Hmm. The implications of throwing a grenade on the moon. He would be able to throw further than that. It's worth noting... This does not feel lighter than the Earth gravity, so they messed that up. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ho. oh, ho, 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 ho! What do we got here? This is this is a sports dome. Hello. Got a big old tennis court here. Really big tennis court. So big, in fact, this is probably for the co-op mission, where we can, uh... Oh. And I guess the net can be removed. So that they can play basketball. Sports! Can't get it. Ugh. Can't get it. Now! I don't know if it should have that sound. Also, what is going on with that ball's textures? Jesus Christ. Oh, that's the only dome out here. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right, we gotta get the one over here. That's what you get with this. We we start by getting all of the um, landing sites. I think that's how we used to do it. Really, the only new area that we've unlocked prior since re since rebooting the playthrough was Tunguska. Where is this thing? Uh, it's close, don't worry. It's very close. This looks like a small town-like area. And before I go on about how this is a very impractical location to land your saucer. What metabolism? 
sluggish, can't wake up, need ions badly, use ion detonator on idle. What a coincidence, that's the gun I have out. I feel tanned, rested, and ready. Landing zone activated. <laughs> Come back, little moon. <laughs> so clear, I am floating. Eh, big deal. You know it is a big deal. The sheer amount of uh, rocket power required to get this many people to the moon and all this equipment alone. Yeah, it's 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 a lot. It needs a powerful rocket. Elon Musk's Starship times a million. Maybe maybe a thousand. A million. Ow! That didn't feel good. Get out of that car. Now you gotta make me angry. Cosmonaut down, we are needing backup! Oh, that poor car! Huh, they don't care about meteor strikes here. <laughs> hey! Probably because that shit happens all the time here. There's no atmosphere to stop those things from pummeling into the surface. Science! Quickly before they jump out! Ah! They jumped out. Not too fast in not wanting to achieve escape velocity. Yeah. What is escape velocity for the moon? We do it in Kerbal Space Program a lot, but we haven't been to the moon a lot. Yep. Alright, we're heading up the hill. Um, well, we're going that way. Okay. Kinda weird. Sure. This is where the landing pad is? Yeah, it's across all that ick. Again, you can see Earth. Certain hemispheres would be able to look through a telescope and see all this shit. It's pretty big. God, this is everything we've needed. A gun that can kill the stupid small guys really quickly. Yeah, that did pretty okay against him. Could could stand to do a lot better. Let's strive to hit him for like 80% of his health next time. Or maybe all of it. Alright, here's our landing site. Oh, the window is harsh. My sacred inner fluids are still frozen solid. Melt the obstruction with my superheated plasma. You mean... Disintegrator? Ah, the benevolent warmth of a loving god. Accept this landing beacon in magnanimous thanks. Magnanimous. Word of the day. I haven't heard that word in a while, actually. <laughs> Alright, so there's one more over at the mining site. Alright. I'm going. Ooh. 
Okay, how do I get out of this area without getting hurt? Carefully. There's a tunnel! <laughs> there is just a tunnel. That's very ugly, isn't it? Oh, shit! Ah! The third one missed, but whatever. Yeah, we're gonna have to go to the dome landing site, and from there we have to walk. But don't worry. We'll be making fun of their crappy moon base all the way. Because their moon base does suck. Where did I get 36? How long have I been picking these up? <laughs> Yikes! That's a very large amount. Yeah, get me four of these, because I'm tired of... Yeah. Expensive. Uh. Expensive. Uh. Expensive. Uh. Anti-grav and anti-grav. All right, there. The anti-gravity cannon has been upgraded. Yeah, I called it a cannon. <sighs> I like his space helmet. That's a fun touch. Why does he need that, though, if... I, I thought he had, like, a force field type helmet going on. That's what that- that's what I thought that light was coming out of his neck. It's over there. Deep in the mines, I think. That or above the mines, who knows. What is this black marker thing over here? I don't know, it's just a thing on the map here. Oh, it's the tunnel. Okay. Neat! Oh, here's the landing site. What do you want? Hello, voltage warning. My power is diminished. I must have the. So, Zapomatic. I have the power! Landing zone activated. Thank you for the Grayskull reference. <laughs> he Man reference. Whatever you want to call it, kind of reference. there'd be a thing up here. There is a thing up here. What's in this tiny dome which is open to the elements? The vacuum of space. <laughs> uh. Okay. That's good. We activated all the landing sites. All right, well, I think that's good enough. We could cut this off here. That's Destroy All Humans this week, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, next week, we'll actually do the story stuff. Sorry, there was a bit of a lack of that this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button really hard with your head, preferably. You can hit it with whatever you want, but I'm going to tell you to hit it with your head.